Okay, welcome to um, Teacher Teaching Teachers, the nine o'clock show. Anyway, hi guys. Um, introduce yourselves if you don't mind. Go Rohan, you start us off. Um, hi, I'm Rohan. I'm an eighth grader. On, I am. Um, I'm in Miss Stedwanzi's class. Cool, cool. And Adi uh, hi, my name is Aditi. I'm also in Miss Stedwanzi's class. Uh, uh, period one, so her homeroom. I mean, period two, so her homeroom. Cool, cool. So telling me, tell uh, we talked to Rohan quite a bit. We'll bring him back in, but tell us a little bit about what you've been doing with AI and and Mr. Sedjonski's class. Yeah. So uh, we obviously in the our class, as I I think Rohan was probably telling you last week, he uh, he developed a thinking partner to help him. Uh, so obviously in the class we do, I, I, this morning I was creating a thinking partner to, uh, help, uh, with my, we were writing our say something articles. So I did create a thinking partner for that. Uh, but the one I, uh, my favorite one is I created one, uh, I'm on the school's debate team and I created, uh, one that you can feed in like a prompt, like, uh, the topic we're debating, like, oh, uh, organ donation should be mandatory in the United States or election day should be a federal holiday, like topics like those. And then it'll give you a, a list of suggested ideas that su suggested contentions. And then you could find other evidence and statistics to back up the contentions uh, online. And then you could make kind of create some arguments like that. So I've started to put it uh, into use for our, we have a tournament coming up, a debate tournament in February. So we've already started like prep for that. And I was just kind of uh, plugging in some of the prompts we have and uh, seeing what it gave me as uh, ideas to help come up with, you know, some new out of the box contentions. So uh, am I saying your name correctly? Adit Say your name for me. Aditya? Uh, Aditya. Aditya. Okay. Um, Aditya, I want, want you to meet, meet Christina. Um, Cantrell. So introduce Hello. yourself, maybe Christina. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Hi, I'm uh, Christina Cantrell. I'm a colleague of Paul's um, and I live in Philadelphia. Um, I work for the National Writing Project. So we have writing projects all over the country, like Paul's at the Phil New York Writing Project. I'm at the Philadelphia Writing Project. Um, yeah. So we, we all Paul keeps us connected to all the interesting AI work and whatever sort of interesting technology stuff, Paul's always doing something with it. So I like to hang so, out where he is. <laughs> Aditya, how, how did your debate coach, um, that's not Ms. Dedronsky, right? That's somebody else? Uh, no, uh, the debate coach uh, is uh, one of the science teachers at WAMS. Uh, he was actually, he actually really liked the idea and he actually <laughs> suggested that I share some of the contentions. Um, so that was a, that was great. <laughs> Can um, can you share your screen and show this to us or not? I don't know. If sure. Uh, I haven't you ever. Okay, called, there you go. I know. Is that your screen? We, yeah. Next, and then I can just now comment. Yeah. So uh, you can see that I. <laughs> you know, on teachers TV. teachers take about five tries before they get. Sorry. <laughs> It's it's cool that you got in so fast. Go yeah, ahead. so this is my uh, partner I created this morning. Let's say something feedback partner for, uh -huh. uh, for me. Can you can and you edit that and explain it to us? Hit edit so we can see it. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I haven't really gotten a chance to play around with it much. The period honestly ended before I could really you know start fi figuring it out. But I just mm -hmm. basically put in the basics right here, which is I wanted to talk, you know, with an eighth grade level vocabulary. But but like honestly, I don't really like it when my thinking partner is talking like yo what's up i just don't really i, I don't personally like that so i said okay. to talk like an uh professionally and like an kind of like an english teacher uh and then uh give give two to three pieces of feedback so i'm gonna I, i've just been plugging in like my uh the the article and i'm gonna see what feedback it gives me and then i can you know start to tweak this and hopefully like maybe next time I, i'm able to talk we uh it's actually like uh, it's a little more developed. All right. And Why don't my, you go? To, yeah, go ahead. The other one I created is. Mm -hmm. 
think it's down here. Say something, say something. I don't know if I scrolled past it. Let me just check. So we just called it the debate expansion partner. So at first right. I had, I gave it like a list of three points and then I had it expand it. But I found that yeah. it was just go, really go good. Edit, getting... so we, we don't see the edit yet. Good. Yeah. Go ahead. Now keep talking. Yeah. But uh, at first I had it take three points and then like write a whole speech. But then I found that first off, like the way I usually debate is I usually just bring a list of three points in the room anyways. So I didn't exactly find that the most helpful for me. And that's what I found is that it's better if I kind of use this as almost an alternate like partner. So how it works in our debate is that we have three on three uh, debates. So we usually like we're prepping with partners and then people from other teams and we're all working together. So I was thinking of instead of approaching this as, oh, I just give you this and you like essentially expand it so I can just have a speech to take into the room. Instead, I can treat this as, wow, uh, you're my teammate. You're coming up with ideas, too. And before, then I even can I, show you. Before you move off that screen, can I make a suggestion? Sure. See the category there? The first, the first version of it was indeed a tool. But now I think you've made it a teammate. See if you can change that to teammate. Cool. Yeah, I think that now now that I'm thinking about it and reflecting, it does make sense to put that in the teammate category. Mm -hmm. And then you can see that uh, I just created like this group discussion really quick. So this is the original version where I had it uh, take this few Go bullet slow. points, and then you can see how it just expanded it, created like. Oh, so little... it made the whole speech there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I did change a few things while I was still doing that. So I first off, uh, we don't address people, the judge as your honor, we address them as judge. Um, so I'm just, I just like, and also I toned down the vocab, I made it a little more easier to understand. So it doesn't sound like a, I think it sounded almost too high level, like someone, it makes me, I think even yeah, Mr. That's, Ronsky that's was clear. talking about it this morning, is uh, if, you, if you use words and things that you don't really understand, it, almost makes you sound less professional than you actually are. So I found that a lot of these times, these large vocabulary words were honestly unnecessary. And then I just g g came up with the idea to just scrap this entirely and then uh, go on with this idea. So uh, for example, for the contention, cultural treasures should be returned to their countries of origin. I gave it that. And this was my just like, this was like my test one because I've already debated this one before uh, once. So I wanted to see what it gave me. So uh, it gave me some things that were pretty similar, honestly, to what I've written. So did it, did something suggest, that I would personally. Did anybody suggest you do that or was that your own idea? It was just, it, it was my own idea, really. I just thought of, uh, like, la it was kind of like last debate. I felt like I wasn't prepared enough. And I felt like I had, I spent all my time creating, like, these potential contentions. And then I had no evidence to back them up because I didn't have time to research that. So I was like, if I can shorten the step one a little bit by having the AIs make some of my contentions, I can spend more time getting, getting statistics and, and expert quotes and things that actually help win the debate and hopefully, you know, improve my performance. So okay. uh, I, I, I'm, I'm like wanting you to flow because you're saying such gold stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing it. But. I want to slow down and, and show you one thing. Can you go back to that one for a little bit? And yeah. I know your periods are short and the bell rings and, you know, you want to get on other things. But what would be amazing, and I'm, I'm saying this to you too, Rohan, is if if you could take a moment and you see the reply there, not reply with AI, but reply, the reply. Yeah. yeah. If you could, everything you just said about why you made this and how you made it and what you're thinking about it. If you could every once in a while hit reply and and keep those, it's called reflective writing, like that reflection here also, or you could go back later and do it, I don't know. But I just want to point out that that's a possibility to do that. Hi, Sam. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> Okay, keep going now. I, I interrupted you, but keep going. Yeah, yeah uh, so generally how, our flow, like generally how I've seen it, and that's actually something I hadn't considered as reflecting. 
but uh, I was kind of thinking of it in the sense of I need to get the most research done in the little amount of time. So I was thinking of maybe reflecting I get that. on this yeah, stuff I... after the match, after I actually debate it with the other team. And then I can figure out what worked, what didn't work, and kind of go from there. I got and it. kind of put that as a reflection. That's cool. What else do you want to show us here? Yeah. So, uh, for example, this, so none was, of this is in your none of this is in your English class anymore, right? This is all uh, no. Debate. So I I created the I first created the partner in my English class, but now it's mostly just been in my debate, like after school okay. when I do debate, or uh, or like after homework when I'm just doing some debate prep in my documents. That's where most of this goes. So, uh, yeah, that this one was just a test one that I've already debated before. I just wanted to see how it would do. Actually, it gave me something interesting, which was uh, the UNESCO Convention of 1970, which is a particular detail that I had not stumbled upon before in my research. So, I guess it just goes to show how AI can. Uh, Did you check come it? Up with ideas is that, that real or not? <laughs> Got to be careful. Yeah, I actually searched it up. It is a real thing. UNESCO okay. Convention of 1970. How did you uh, search it up? Uh, I just I plugged it into Google and then it I just like you can even okay. I don't know if I'm be able to do it like this, but no, that's fair. No. Yeah, and I'm then you can even that. see uh, illicit tracking of cultural property. So it didn't know what it was talking about. It used the context right, uh, and. <clears throat> it it was talking about something that would have been just, relevant uh, to the I, debate. I sorry. Can I can I make a a uh, sort of? Uh, I just read this last week, so you know. Um, OpenAI points out that when you ask when you ask the model to limit the number of words, it's not always very accurate, but it is pretty accurate when you ask it bullet points. So what you've done here is really good. But make a few bullet points is is going to be less accurate than you could say make three bullet points and it'll give you exactly three. Right? But so it's good at giving you bullet points. Or if you want to say just give me two paragraphs, it'll just give you two paragraphs, right? So that's something I didn't know. But yeah, we're all learning as we go. Yeah. And then uh, so this one was this one was more of a test to see what the AI could really do. This one was like. Uh, this one was an actual one that I'm going to be debating next month, which is that election day should be a national holiday. Uh, so you can see some things that, uh, like equality, voter turnout, civic engagement, accessibility. These are all things that when you really think about them, even if one or two of them might be similar to each other, they do make sense from a logic, from a logic perspective. And that is exactly what I wanted the AI to do. Like, You've all heard of those like things where the AI makes up things. So I I didn't want it yeah. to ask. I didn't want to ask for specific statistics because I knew that that would not be very accurate. But logic is something that these these models I'm seeing are doing pretty well at, good at. Uh, and then you can even see that I made responses to that below. Uh, texting. You've done a lot. Yeah. So I did. Yeah, because we have to do debate eight topic four topics and then two arguments for each topic for and against. So we have to do eight, eight plus I also did that one test. So I have nine so far. Election day should not be a national holiday. That's the response. And then that gave some things like, uh, for example, there'd be more effective ways to do it. And also the economic impact, which are things that both I thought of and also things that I hadn't considered before. So I think this has been something that I, has definitely been helpful. <laughs> definitely made my work a lot easier. And actually, I, last year when I was in the debate club, before I heard of this, when we were doing all our topics, like we were researching them uh, individually rather than using AI, uh, we actually did debate about AI and like whether or not ChatGPT is a good thing or a harmful thing. And one thing that we found while we were researching is that Ch ChatGPT uh, is shown to improve like the performance of white collar workers and makes them more efficient because they're able to streamline a lot of these uh, basic, uh, they're able to uh, help out, get some help with a lot of these basic brainstorms and also even some of like the more mundane things like uh, like actual like writing out syn of syntax and things. Mm -hmm. And I thought that I was, I, th I think that's kind of the same effect over here for us. Cool, interesting. 
Well, I'm uh, curious. Give someone else. Go yeah, ahead. Christina, go ahead. Yeah. I'm just curious, like what you said. Your teacher was excited about this idea too. Have you shown this to? I don't know. He, he or them or what your teachers? But yeah, you... uh, I've shown him. I've shown him it, and he was. Uh, he thought that it was an interesting idea, and that he I, I should like at meetings because our school never competes against ourselves. Only other schools. We always like do like group brainstorms and things for topics. And he said that I should share some of my ideas of the group brainstorm. And I think that the ideas were uh, definitely up there in quality amongst other uh, potential ideas that other people had actually generated by like just uh, going on websites and things. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. So um, let me, uh, what, what do you think the difference is between doing this here or just going to chat GPT to do it? Actually, we even tried that once where we tried both. So we we used now comment, uh, and we plugged in a prompt in, uh, Bing chat, which, uh, uses the same, enough, uh, yeah. which uses GPT four versus mm -hmm. the original chat GPT, like the free version on OpenAI's website, which uses 3.5. And then yeah. we were looking at the differences. And uh, we noticed, um, we definitely noticed that the Bing, the Bing and No Comment, which were both using GPT-4, were definitely coming up with more creative, better ideas than three, the 3.5 model. Uh, but Bing has limits if you don't have a Microsoft account, uh, which is kind of annoying, especially if you want to use it on school computers, right? Like during debate time. I'm also wondering, I mean, don't know, but if that format of that page that you, you know, surfed through there and ha having all your work on that page, if that's helpful as well. Don't know. But yeah. yeah, I can, if you want, I can actually present like what we, where we usually keep all our research. If you want to see that really quick, like one of the old, uh, one of the docs, let me just pull one of them up. Like this is the one from, this is the one that we're currently using. If I want to present that. Um, so we'll just have like, so we'll, uh, just have like, uh, all the topics and then we'll have a uh, prop, which is mm -hmm. for and op, which is against, and then we'll just have like, uh, uh, basic, uh, basics and then more statistics and other things below that. And then I have like a whole section of just AI generated arguments and then, yeah. This will eventually expand. Some of the documents can get as long as 40 pages of research and statistics. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're dealing with lots of different, or a few different platforms as, as you do this. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to give, I, 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 it's been wonderful. Yeah, I think everybody else should wanna, have a chance to talk to. Yeah, I want to give Sam a chance to talk. Rohan, you had some time earlier that you can talk That was about awesome, but thanks for sharing. Yeah. And don't go anywhere, stay, you know, keep sharing, but, um, Sam, do you want to talk about what you've been up to? And you can share also if you'd like. Introduce yourself. You're Sam. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you're muted now. Now you're talking. But we can't hear you yet. Oh, no, your sound's not working. Don't know what that is. Uh, uh, Sam, just go out again. See if that works. Oh, we hear you now. You hear me now? We're good. Yes, we can. There's your earbuds, I think. But yeah, go ahead. All right. And, so me and you don't have to share a screen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've been I'm watching. Saying... You've been you've been doing a lot today. I noticed, but yeah. Yeah, me and Nate created. We're we're going away from more of like the um, like mindset ones and the ones, and we're trying to create new ones. And I'll present the one that I made, and then I'll also show the one Nate made. Okay. Nate, Nate and Sam, just to let uh, – this is uh, Christina Cantrell. Nate and Sam created a, I don't know, business? <laughs> How would I call it a business yet? Not yet? Oh, I like the not yet. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so um, Go ahead. this is my new one. This is called Skill Synergize, and it's supposed to, like, for like college applications. No, like I just, Sam, I just wanted to, Sam, sorry, sorry. 
Just wanted to know, is this for a class or you just did this yourself? This is just myself. Okay, good. Yeah, so this one, it's supposed to take like your um, resume or something like that. And uh, it can give you jobs, colleges, and it can help elevate like um, and how to leverage your uh, statistics to get better into better so, colleges. So show us, show, us what, show us what the question is on that one. So this one's just like a random one, and it's like I have a 3.8 GPA. 3.8, it's not bad, yeah. And a 1,300 on the do SAT. You imagine, do, you imagine, do you imagine this is a high school student saying this? Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, well, and then this one says that uh, it gives you your GPA back, and then it um, gives feedback on each aspect of your resume. Mm -hmm. And like it said, your 3.8 GPA is quite strong, and it indicates like a consistent academic performance. Then it gives you your SAT score, and it analyzes that one. Then it gives you a robotic club, and it tells you about that one. This, the number four, we're still working on this one. So that was kind of like a mistake by it. And then after you, it takes in all the um, info from your resume, then it can give you suggestions for colleges and it gives you reaches, um, safety schools and like, yeah, just like normal schools. And you told it to do that? Give it reaches and safety schools? Yeah. Wait, you're in eighth grade, right? Okay. Go uh-huh. <laughs> all right keep going and then uh since i also wanted it to kind of also help with jobs and internships it also gives job suggestions at the bottom it doesn't give exactly like what jobs to apply for since that's like you, it doesn't know what area you are in and i don't want to give it my address and for and it also gives you general tips at the end yeah this is where we're at now though I tried a new one, this one, where uh, I gave it, uh, hold up, I gave it these credentials that I just found from the internet. It's a average one, and then this one's the new one that we're trying to do, and it's supposed to, at the end, ask you, like, if you'd like to continue talking about, like, uh, college strategic areas or something like that look so for this one at the would like say that would you like to further focus on strategic planning for college or um, college or job interviews and then if you respond with like one of them then it will drop all the stuff I told it before and it will just ask like a college counselor and it will talk to you about tips and tricks for like college applications and planning for oh, that. Cool. I, I've been waiting for you to learn how to do that that's amazing yeah. And then I'll go to what Nate made. So okay. wait, hold. The well, wait. Can we can we hold talk on. to you? About, let's talk about this a little more before you go to Nate. Yeah. What is what is the learn? When you said I've been waiting for you to learn how to do that, was it how oh. Sam said that like you drop the former conversation frame and you start a new one? Is that what you did, Sam? I think it was like the response thing since we didn't know how to do that earlier. But me and Nate made the hybrid one, and because of that one, we just inputted part of that one into this one. So we used part of the hybrid AI, which can talk like anyone. Huh. Wow. I, why don't you go to that one? So can you go to that one fast before you go to Nate's? Uh, um, I a... notice also these have – how you keep copies of these? Yeah, they're all in our – this one. I, 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 the other thing I want to know before you go to the is who do you imagine will use this thinking partner? I imagine if it does get released, then like I feel like people could just use it as fun. I know there's websites where people there's like AI generated models that people can talk to or chat to. So I think that like the conversational hybrid can kind of be like that if they don't really feel like going on to that other website. But this one, they can make it whoever cool. they want, which is one of the downfalls of the other down cons of the other one. But what, what if you went to the guidance counselor in the high school and said, and showed them this, do you think they'd be interested? Possibly. 
it could make their <laughs> lives a bit. I don't know, because then they lose their jobs, or they might lose their jobs. <laughs> I don't think they will. But okay. Well, we'll, we'll have to think of the... it. I'm just, I, I just don't know how. I, if you, can you? I'm also curious. How did you come up with this idea? Like, why did you think this would be a good thing to do? Well, really, I, I've seen all over my, uh, like, um, TikTok and Instagram about like people getting into college and that stuff. And it just made me mm -hmm. think about like college and job opportunities. And like people are posting like, oh, I got into my dream school. So it just made me think about how I could just like help other people get in or get advice. Because some people probably don't have enough money or maybe they don't have a guidance counselor at their school to afford like a college counselor. So this website could help them a yeah, bit. That's, that's absolutely true. Yeah. Oh, no, then, or I, I just want to check if your the other students have any questions for you. Your thoughts? Un, unmute. So, uh, <clears throat> so I was thinking of something uh, I seen with um, another uh, chat, uh, Bing chat, which I, I think I was talking about earlier, is uh, that it has like direct integration with like uh, the internet. So whenever you give it a query, you can pick which whichever plugins like you want, and it'll do that. Like for example, you can have a plugin for kayak to search flight, or a plugin for just the world for the web to just like scrape every single website. Which I thought I thought it was interesting because when I plugged in uh, the same um, uh, again with my debate thing, when I plugged in those prompts. It gave me a very similar thing, but it actually like was able to cite sources from uh, websites, which I don't think is something that uh, which now comment and ChatGPT aren't able to do, but I found interesting. And yeah, I even used it to yeah. search for flights once. Yeah, you know, if you put a reference, if you put reference articles in, which you can do now, um, it, it you can cite from those reference articles. You can't cite. It sort of has to copy the whole article into the prompt. But anyway, so yes, that 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 ability to link out to the, the internet is something we need eventually. Yeah, yeah, good point. Um, Sam, so, Sam, do you want to show this one, the conversational hybrid? And it's two point four. You've done it that many times, or well, Doesn't I matter. mean, it's just we just random we just randomized the number and added decimal to it to make it sound okay. more fancy. <laughs> oh. Fair enough. So show me what <laughs> hilarious. Show show us what so, this one does. So we uh you can tell the high or the conversational AI to like be Blaine the Rock Johnson. And that it has um Nate inputted like the uh interviews and basic overviews of what each um celebrity does. So he has a long list of them. Like a lot of celebrities on that list and he has some of their interviews and also some of their like summaries of who they are as a person in the and prompt for this itself. one mm -hmm. yeah in the prompt itself okay for this one i told it to be like the rock and uh i it's supposed to ask us oh i forgot to talk about that um that conversational ai at the end of each uh response is supposed to ask three questions to like ask about if they want to talk that talk about that next and that's what we were trying to test out to see if we can get that hybrid working where it could look at the last response and keep going from there and so for then for this one is it, I is asked it working it do you think or to be Dwayne the rock okay go ahead. It, it is working actually and then okay. the three the three questions it asked was fitness, movies, and motivation tips. So I talked to it about movies. And then uh, he said, like, as Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I'd love to talk about movies. And he talks about, like, his experiences. It's like a basic overview. And then mm -hmm. it also gives us more than three. And then this one, uh, it doesn't give... Political. Oh my God! Uh, you asked about. Yeah, it uh, does not it give say? political responses. 
So then I kind of skipped that mm. one. And I wrote, uh, do okay. you know of Kevin Hart? And then uh, the conversational hybrid responded with that, like Kevin Hart is a brother to me, which I think is pretty cool because in the prompt Nate gave it, it was also that like Kevin Hart is one of his good friends and that stuff. So having that is pretty good. Do you want me to show Nate's? Sure. Anybody else have a thought or question for Sam on that one? All right. Well, I don't know. So, so how Sam, you know I have, I, can I just mention your conversational one? I have this crazy idea, and I don't know how interested you are in politics, but there's an election going on. What if instead of all those celebrities, you put all the candidates in and, and you could ask have conversations with the candidates oh that actually be pretty cool like you could have a mock mock debate of like a election yeah. actually we could well it, it okay. i think it can take I know. everyone either ways okay i can show you some of that some other time but yeah i'd let some um, i know you want to show nate's and nate's blows my mind but go ahead <laughs> show me yeah, what he so, what he wanted to do here i think rohan dropped so. i know okay yeah, he yeah. texted me saying he was he here had to leave. He was, oh okay he was here the hour before too so. oh was he all right okay yeah, so yeah it's a, this one's okay. like uh nate wanted because we take the same class called design and prototyping at our school and that one uses uh, oh, you do. 3d printers and I have that class next cycle. I mean, I have that class next so, semester. So I had no idea how real this was. C keep going, yeah. So he wanted to create a bot that could create replicas or like um, codes or a steel file that could be um, inputted into like a, a 3D printer and can print out anything. And it's basically just like really quick. So Nate uh, asked for it to make a 3D model of a pencil. Yeah, and this whole thing below is like the, and it also gives for. steps to turn it into an mm -hmm. uh, STL file. Did you try it? Yeah, this is the try with Nate. Wow. No, but I mean, did, uh, what, did you try what to print it means? Pencil? Oh, we didn't print it yet, though. So, yeah, you should ask the Sweeney to do that. Um, and I mean, if you got if the cycle's over before you guys can perfect it, uh, I have the cycle. I have it next semester, so maybe I could maybe you could just send it send it to me, and we could do that. Did you show Did you, did you show this to your teacher yet? Not yet, because it's not we. I don't want to break her three D printer. But <laughs> I'm not sure if this is gonna download a pencil virus onto her computer. I'm I'm sure it's not, but we'd like to get more and improve it because currently it's so it's not. I fully. clicked on that link and it didn't work. I, I think if that's the same one, does it work or doesn't? It? Oh, maybe I. Let's. It does. Let's try it and hope it doesn't lead to a computer virus. Yeah. A pencil virus. It leads to open scan, which actually does work. Oh, so you could test this. So, what are your next steps with this? I haven't thought about a virus. That's interesting. Our next step was because we're we're still gonna test it more. Okay. Wait. Can you go down and you said yippee? Can you? What happened after that? I'm just curious. You, yeah, Nate after, said it worked. After, you said yippee. Yeah. And after most of the things, we just like comment yippee on most of them. <laughs> like we just use the now comment thing to chat with ourselves. Like if you go down here, maybe. How I many um, of these have you created? Uh, more than I can count, more than I can remember. Okay. 
Yeah, that's certainly more than two. And are they all on the same page? If you go scroll yeah, to the top, they're on the same the index. Uh -huh. These are all the testing things. Are you and eight if... in the same period? Mm -hmm. Oh, period eight. But do you do this in English class? I, I slurred my mm, word. No. <laughs> do you do this? No, you don't. Okay. We do this in our free time, just like so when we have. What do you think? What do you think doing this in your free time does it help you with your English class, or what? What are you doing over in your English class? Uh, it doesn't have to. I'm just curious. We just do it for fun, actually. In English class, we're reading right now. I think some of these okay. could help with English class, but me and Nate mostly just do it for fun because we're like interested in the. We use it in language arts, and I've used it a bit, but mostly we do them for fun and just check out what we can get from. Okay. And then if you wanted to see me and Nate's conversations on OpenAI or Nate's conversations with himself, he, he asked, what does <laughs> reply do? And then he says, I'm not sure. <laughs> Yeah, so okay. it's just like so a he's big talking long. to himself here. Yep. Got it. It's just so this whole not... page is just us testing the AIs. Let me ask the English class question one more time. Are you are you doing that um the essay now? Um I forget the name of it. Um Say something article. Yeah, the say something article. Are you doing that? Oh, thought, oh, oh, oh. Mr. Jonsky teaches language arts, so I thought you were talking about English. Oh, I got the wrong. Sorry, I didn't. I it's didn't okay. know the distinction. Okay, so yeah, so I'm talking about language arts. How does this affect language arts? Well, these all help with language arts, because um, like on my say something article. I used yeah. one of these. Can you show us that? Yes. Wait, hold up. How would you get or on you one of to my, my library? Oh, is it here already? Yeah, I think we, or maybe it's in my, there's a lot of it. Oh, this is the one I used. So uh, this is the one I used for my say something thing. And this was like my. Uh, what, are you this, what are you writing about? Sorry. It was about the, this passage. That it was like, okay. it was a part of the book Chew on This, which is like about fast food industry. And then right. it gave me my responses with like all these uh, work ethic and labor. It helps me, the AI just helps us or helps me think deeper into the text that I'm reading. I think it's good because it just gives like another point of view to things that you're doing. And it can also help with uh like if i'm stuck on a prompt in language arts like if i have nothing to write about and i'm just stuck on my say something article the essay then i could go here and i could ask like one of the if i wanted it from the perspective of perspective of bob ross or someone like that and i wanted it to like help me of give me people, a spark bob ross. yeah go ahead <laughs> I do like Bob Ross a lot. And, okay. uh, it can help it me helps get you give another... you a spark. I interrupted you. Yeah. yeah. And that sparks okay. the the second point of view. Is like, I think that's like one of the most important parts of it. Because some people don't, or we might all have access to peers, but like if we need peer reviewing and another viewpoint, they might not be with us. So. I think AI is good because you can ask anyone really. And I'm not going to have a conversation with Bob Ross. So the closest I can get is AI. So uh, could both of you comment? Uh, Ms. Jodronsky has been texting me uh, with, with her thoughts about peer re review, the value of that compared to getting feedback from thinking partners. And the way I want to ask the question is, what's good about both of them? And when do they come in? 
Yeah, your hands up, but just unmute and talk. <laughs> Go for it. Um, <clears throat> I feel like it really depends on how you phrase your AI, but also the generally, like I told you, I don't really like my AI to address to address me like a peer. I like it to address me like a teacher or or a formal teammate rather than someone informally. Mm -hmm. But I feel like there's like, like that human touch that AI really that AI you know can't really uh generate like people actually know you on a personal level and that can kind of affect how they view your writing like almost a lens mm -hmm. uh whereas ai is just whatever you give it as a prompt and the um and the statement so it doesn't really have as deep of a connection with you as another as a peer would and that affects how both give feedback and both can be valuable feedback. They're both like important feedback, but the, uh, one cannot replace the other and vice versa, I guess. Cool. Sam, you, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I think that uh, this might sound a little like informal, but sometimes like my friends can be annoying and I would rather talk to an AI than to talk to them at some point of the day. So I'm like, you can control the AI. I can't control what my friend wants to say on the day. <laughs> That's like, if he doesn't want to get his work done, then it's, it's not like I don't have a peer reviewer. That's why I think AI is good because I say this a lot though, that like you are the owner of your AI. Like I can tell my AI to not be annoying like my friend that day. <laughs> Definitely comes in handy when uh, all your friends are, um, well, they're doing something else, that's for sure. Um, and also, <clears throat> I think Mr. Ronsky was talking about it yesterday about the potential to copyright your AI. Like, uh, that's something interesting. She, she only briefly brought it up, but I was just thinking about that. That's something that could be potentially interesting. You Especially like for you two. Partner. Especially for you two who have, like, <laughs> Quite a bit, uh, quite a few AIs. It's an interesting question. I haven't even thought of it, but so yeah. You could have Creative cre uh, Creative Commons licensing, Paul. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that that brings up some interesting questions. Like, <laughs> did you make these things or not? I, you you certainly made the prompt, right? So you could you right, know. right. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Okay. Um, what are you going to do next, Sam or a dieta uh, name, right? Yeah, that was close, right? It's Aditya. Um, Aditya. So thank you. My my name's one of those that are harder to pronounce for sure. Uh, but that's cool. Sam, you want to go first? Sure, but it's just a quick answer. I, I say this a lot again, but it's whatever comes to the top of our minds. Since ours aren't, I mean, there there's some way complex, but if I'm thinking about chicken fingers that day, and I'm really thinking about chicken fingers, I can make a chicken fingers AI, because it's just my mood of the day. Since you can create as much as you want, that's what I like a lot about it. Have has um, Mr. Dronsky seen what you guys are doing? I don't think so yet. I think I she's think definitely so. seen some of what uh, I've talked to her a little bit about it. And also, uh, I think uh, she, yesterday she was talking about, or today she was talking about uh, Rohan's, Rohan sent her an email over break and then she was talking about uh, his specifically. But uh, yeah, he, yeah, she does he did, talk about he did He did one where you go deep into the response, but yeah, all right, yeah. Oh, I kind of have one like that. <laughs> all right, I, I interrupted you though, and we're kind of getting up on time here. What, yeah. what were you thinking? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'll, 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 I, you know, a few things came to mind during this conversation. You know, what if you used AI to potentially, uh, I think I saw a video of someone who uh, used Oh, uh, I think I have to go right now. Uh, right now. I'll just finish my thought okay. and then I'll go. Um, but yeah, I think okay. someone who used Thanks. AI to um, 
people have used AI to like do finance finance and things. So I thought that, that might be something interesting to look into. And also uh maybe I was oh I, I had one uh maybe like a, a, something uh could teach you coding. Like I, I've always wanted to get into coding, but I've never really been able to like, you know, really find anything interesting. Uh so I was thinking maybe I could maybe I could have an AI coding teacher, like a personal coding teacher. Uh if uh, if at all that's possible, that would be something that would be interesting for sure. Try it. Uh, I think I have to go now. <laughs> Goodbye. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you for the time you gave. And Sam, thank you again. Thank you. Nice did you guys you. go? Did you go to the? Did you go to the concert, Sam? The orchestra. Oh, I had a I had a basketball. Yeah, practice. basketball. Yeah, I was actually at the. I, I was one of the players of the concert. That's oh, why what do you I, play? I didn't join early. What do you play? I play violin. What instrument? Oh, nice. Violin. Cool. cool. All right. Uh, goodbye. Talk, talk to you all again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, thank, thanks so much. Uh, okay, now I have to figure out how to exit. You can just cross it off. Just get out oh, of Oh, okay. Bye.